Thank you for clicking on this video. I just want to take the time to thank all key workers during this time, not forgetting shop workers, domestics, bus drivers, the list goes on. If anyone is looking for a more regular tutor, I will soon be available to deliver sessions through a website where I've been referenced and DBS checks. Today's quick revision session is on the use of apostries for plural possession. Apostries can be used to show that one thing belongs or is connected to something else. We can use them for different things. So our first example is the dog fur is black. The word dog is a singular noun. This means that there is only one dog that the sentence is talking about. And we might need to add an apostrophe s to show that the black fur belongs to the dog. So I would add my apostrophe here, my s here. So it now reads, the dog's fur is black. It shows that there's only one dog and that his fur, or she, or they, is black. If the sentence we are talking about has more than one subject, so this means that it might be talking about more than one person in the sentence, this is known as a plural noun. For example, our plural noun sentence is, the sister's room was a mess. So the word sisters tells us that there's more than one sister that the sentence is talking about. However, this sentence is a little bit different. The word sisters already ends in an S. So in this sentence, we don't actually add another apostrophe and an S because there's already one at the end of the subject word. We just take our pen and we just simply add an apostrophe at the end of the S to show that there's more than one sister in the sentence. However, not all plural noun sentences behave like this. A sentence might read, the children mother called them in for dinner. The word children is a plural noun because there is more than one child in the sentence. However, it doesn't end with an S. So in this case, we would actually add an apostrophe again and our S to show that the children's mother is calling to multiple people. So let's review quickly. In a singular noun word sentence, so for example, our sent without our apostrophe S, it read, the dog fur is black. So to tell us that the black fur belongs to the dog, we need to add an apostrophe S. And there's only one dog in this sentence, so that's all we need to do. In our second example, the, it's talking about sisters. And the word sisters already ends in an S. So for this one, all we needed to do is to add our apostrophe onto the end. We don't add another apostrophe S because our S is already there. So now it reads, the sister's room was a mess. So we now know there's more than one sister. Our third example was another plural noun sentence, but this one was a little bit different because the subject of this sentence was the word children. And this is a plural word, but it doesn't end in an S like sisters did. So what we need to do here is to make sure that the mother is calling to all her children, we need to add an apostrophe S. So now it successfully reads, the children's mother called them in for dinner. Now we've finished our activity for the day. Why don't you try and write three of your own sentences and ask whoever's at home to let me know how you're getting on in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope it was helpful in this ever-changing climate. If you have any requests for subjects, just comment down below and I'll try to get to them. As I mentioned before, I'll soon be able to offer fully tailored lessons from the comfort of your own home, taking into account your child's age, key stage and location, but more details on this to follow. Thanks for watching and remember to take some time for yourself in this crazy world. Bye.